Hello, my name is Pedro Amador, VP of Technology at ACC and SME of our Coker Life Extension program. I'd like to welcome you to our booth. Today I'll be presenting a programmatic approach to Coking Unit Life Extension. We look forward to your questions after the presentation and as always to discussing your needs for better, safer, and more profitable unit operation. We will have a one-hour Q&A window immediately following the release of this video, and we can always be contacted at azz.com WSI. Refining has often offset oil price declines in the crude markets, with margin and volumes typically growing as crude prices have fallen. But this time is different. Crude oil prices have fallen due to oversupply and there has also been a rapid decline in demand, both domestically and internationally. This depleted demand is already creating inventory problems in both the distribution network and at the refineries. This has led to dramatic drops in the crack spreads. From what we have seen, owners quickly prioritized understanding both the profitability and the market options for each plant. They then prioritize production to those refineries that operate most profitably and have greater flexibility for moving volumes. The question now is, which projects can be deferred or canceled to preserve capital? And which projects can be pulled forward, spread over multiple years, or bundled when preparing for a maintenance event? For the foreseeable future, the ability to be flexible and adaptable will be a more important characteristic of successful asset management events than they have been in the past. For over 30 years, ACC Specialty Welding has been a global leader in the development and implementation of advanced repair solutions focused on the life extension and management of delayed coking unit assets. Today, ACC has the largest portfolio of successful coker life extension projects globally. Our teams continuously work for the advancement of coker vessel repair technology, both internally as well as in joint partnership with industry and research facilities like the Ohio State University MAGIC-2 program. We have a dedicated SME staff who have, for, who have years of experience in the development and implementation of COCR life extension scopes. Most of the techniques in use today were originally developed by this team of experts. To top it off, ACC also has the largest fleet of automated equipment available. This specialty tooling was developed, built, and is utilized regularly by ACC to provide the optimum quality for life extension repairs. In summary, as flexibility and adaptability become more and more important, so are the benefits gained from working with a world-leading organization like ACC. ACC provides the flexibility to adapt to the expectations of owners based on today's environment. How do we fit in this process? The owner has run life expectancy and operational strategy. That's the expectation. The engineering firm will analyze and recommend an approach. That's the recommendation. AZC Specialty Welding will optimize recommended approach. That's the execution. Our approach consists of execution optimization engineering. Poor execution methodology can negatively affect the selected repair run life. For example, general contractor installs, manual welding, etc. We work to expand life extension frontiers, cost avoidance at execution with new technology implementation, schedule reductions. The implementation approach can be more important than the repair recommendation. The operational life of the same recommended repair can vary as much as 50% depending on the quality and methodology of implementation. Let's look at some examples of execution optimization. One of the most prevalent issues faced by the owners is the bulging and bulging growth caused by the low cycle fatigue environment 
that the coker vessels experience during their operating life. Over 20 years ago, ACC became a pioneer in the development of structural unifuse for the mitigation of bulging growth and bulge-induced cracking. This technology has been successfully implemented in hundreds of vessels globally and has proven to be a reliable approach to repair and manage bulging issues in these components. The basic approach starts with measuring the as deformed vessel geometry by laser mapping. This geometry is used to generate a representative finite element model of the vessel. The model is then exposed to loading conditions created by the specific operating cycle of the vessel, and with this and other loading conditions, the bulge severity factor for the drum is calculated. Areas with high bulge severity factor will show more rapid degradation. For these areas, a structural overlay is designed and iteratively reanalyzed using the same model. This results in an overlay design that mitigates the continued growth of the bulging and the eventual cracking that can result. Critical to success of this application is the application of a high quality homogeneous deposit with excellent geometric profile. The control waveform technology included in ACC's proprietary tooling provides a high quality deposit that exceeds the rigorous requirements for a successful repair. So what makes the ACC approach more successful? First, ACC is the only organization in the field that can provide a full service solution. We can and often work with other owner selected engineering providers or we can perform the overlay design function with our internal resources. Our waveform control welding technology provides the highest quality welding deposit available. Our process for removal of existing cladding in the vessel provides efficient and quality removal at high production rates with minimum damage to the ferritic substrate. Our approach to the edge geometry and the deposit surface profile has been fatigue tested with full size vessel samples to ensure an acceptance criteria we use meets the service requirements. We, provide, we continue to enhance and develop this technology over time. Some recent developments pioneered by us are remote video structural overlay to address confined space limitations faced by some of our customers significantly reduces the quantity of welders in the vessel at any given time. Edge and surface profile fatigue testing. Laser profilometry technology. This is a technology that provides surface geometry acceptance during project implementation. Because this solution has provided demonstrated value, the quality and size of scopes have continued to increase over time. ACC has developed enhanced capabilities focused on this service. We have the largest inventory of tooling systems available in the industry. We're staffed with pressure vessel and coca repair SME teams to address any eventuality. We have integrated field implementation teams dedicated to coca life extension scopes. Here's a case study that exemplifies some of our capabilities. ACC was contracted to address shell bulging issues in two 29-foot diameter coke drums in central Canada. Wall thickness in the areas of concern were 1.5 and 1.88 inches. Base material was SA387 grade 12 class 2 with SA240 410 stainless steel cladding. Although this configuration of repair and vessel are fairly common, the project had some unusual requirements. The customer's engineering organization was concerned about the distortion that would be caused by the installation of the overlay. To resolve this issue, AZZ performed a predictive numerical distortion analysis and was able to provide the customer with accurate distortion values and ensure that these would be accepted for fit service of the vessel. The customer was also concerned with potential weakening 
of the vessel structure caused by the heat applied by the welding process on various locations in parallel. ACC was able to model vessel structure and loading conditions and apply heat input models to simulate the welding of an overlay with multiple machines in the area of concern. We were able to demonstrate that the vessel would safely support a significant number of welding arcs in parallel and that would easily exceed any practical applications in a scope of this size. Using the distortion model, we were also able to provide the customer with weld sequencing plans and significantly improve the efficiency of the repair. One final requirement by the customer was uh, their safety practices severely limited the quantity of personnel allowed inside the vessel at any given time. With this limitation and the amount of welding required uh, combined by the reduction in the size of potential workforce would have exceeded the applicable turnaround window resulting in significant project cost increases. To address this issue, ACC quickly developed remote vision systems for their overlay equipment, which allowed the majority of the welders to execute their work from a 40-foot control trailer outside of the vessel. The only personnel in the vessel were equipment technicians servicing various machines and QA, QC surveillance of the per, uh, personnel. This approach also provided the additional benefit of allowing the continuation of work between unit operating cycles that typically requires the evacuation of the platforms. The process was extremely successful and significantly reduced personnel exposure to confined space and hot work areas. Here we can see the typical operating console used by the welders. In this photograph inside the vessel, we see the vision-assisted welding machines implementing the overlay welding. Prior to the installation of the overlay, all internal and external existing cracking was repaired using the AZC Hot Pulse high-speed TIG welding process. Nearly 100 heat treating consoles were needed to support this project for preheat and post-weld soak. A total of 32 remote vision welding systems were used. All welding was controlled from a thousand feet away from the vessels. The project met their schedule and safety requirements and allowed work to be performed in both vessels in parallel. The skirt to vessel attachment is another location of significant concern in coker vessels. It is common to see significant fatigue cracking in this region because it is exposed to thermally induced stresses and in a lot of cases, there are geometry and quality issues with initial construction. In addition, below this area, there are circumferential welds in the lower cone that are sometimes re-welded to facilitate the installation of lower de-heading devices. Good volumetric quality is critical for these welds since they are located in high stress areas. To address welding in these critical locations, ACC has developed the Unifuse Groove process. This sec in this section, we will discuss the process itself and take a look at a couple of representative field examples. Unifuse Groove is a complete system designed for performing full penetration groove welds and repairs on piping, pressure vessels, and other pressure retaining components. In this video, we can see the unique characteristics of the process. This is a high-speed GTAW machine welding process. In the image, we can see the base material, the tungsten, and the, mol the molten puddle, and the wire feed entering uh, the puddle. If you will notice, the wire is dabbing in and out of the puddle and we can see a small spark when contact is broken. The weld wire is electrified to preheat it prior to entering the puddle. This process is called hot pulse GTAW. Perhaps the most important feature is the agitation in the puddle 
caused by the intermittent dabbing of the wire. This puddle agitation reduces the propensity for lack of fusion and accelerates degassing of the puddle, which reduces porosity. The combination of these features allows us to deliver the mechanical properties achievable with GTAW at the deposition rate of FCAW. This welding technology has been incorporated into our automated field welding systems and has become a preferred technology for coker crack repairs, skirt section replacements, and cone modification welds. The process has been examined through testing performed by joint industry research and has demonstrated improved fatigue life over other similar processes such as SMAW and FCAW used in coker crack repairs. Next, we will see a field application utilizing Unifuse Groove. This customer was experiencing significant bulging of the upper skirt and cracking at the skirt to vessel attachment. The vessel is two and a quarter chrome one molly construction. The original vessel design had an improperly designed knuckle region that caused early cracking at the skirt to vessel attachment. AZZ developed an engineered repair solution that involved the upper skirt replacement in sections and a complete removal and reconstruction of the knuckle area. In this sketch, we can see the knuckle section that was replaced and reconstruct reconstructed with weld deposit. For a proper design, it was necessary to reestablish an ample radius at the knuckle to vessel connection. AZZ developed a process to cast this radius in place utilizing a proprietary mold that was covered with metal, weld metal and later removed. All of the welding in the repair area was performed using the Unifuse Group process and the weld deposit was volumetrically examined using linear phased array process. Once the knuckle was completed, the replacement windows were installed. AZZ performed a stability analysis to determine the largest windows that could be cut without compromising the structural integrity of the vessels. It is important to remember that the original skirts were significantly bulged, which had to be taken into account in the analysis. Because of significant structural interferences, a monorail system was designed by AZZ Engineering to assist the delivery of the replacement panels to their location. Tooling modifications were made to reduce the radial clearance requirements for the welding equipment. In this photograph, we can see the area of the coker where the knuckle was to be welded. The skirt window has already been removed and the surface has been prepped for inspection prior to the start of welding. The AZZ tooling engineers have configured a single track setup so multiple tooling systems can sever, weld, and overlay, all using the same track setup, thus reducing schedule. This knuckle replacement process was successfully implemented in multiple refineries to date with excellent results. During the execution of the skirt replacement process, it was discovered that the original cone to flange welds had significant cracking. AZC was quickly able to configure their Unifuse groove welding system to sever the existing welds and with the same setup, re-weld the components in situ. This additional scope was performed in parallel with the skirt replacement project. Completed welds were examined with linear faced array and there were zero defects. This project was completed on schedule and with no safety incidents. It's another example of ACC technology for coker life extension. We at AZZ are committed to providing the best in-class service options for our refinery customers and continue to drive technology development in this important field. I thank you for your attention and hope that you have enjoyed this presentation. Please join us for a Q&A session immediately following.